All right, so now I can come back in and I can start to work on my footer. Now, I could also come on in here and you know continue to add these uh, different pieces that I'd like to add. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'd actually would have to expand this as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in, I'm going to come to my footer, and I'm going to open back up my Word document. And actually, I don't have this in my Word document. I have it in another spot. I have the different pieces that I'm going to add to my footer. And here they are. I'm going to come on in and start to type them. They are as follows. Home. I'm going to use the pike. The next one is trail status. After that, we have a photo gallery, a mileage chart. We have um, about us. And a lot of times what you're gonna find, we have links, that there are repeats in the nav bar and in the footer. Sometimes there's a volunteer, a contact us. Contact us. Okay, so now again, I'm going to go through the steps of stylizing this. And again, I can do that by coming on in. I can, um, you know, click onto it, go to the CSS, and I can hit Edit Rule. Beautiful. So again, I can um, choose a type color. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to grab my eyedropper, and I'm going to choose this color right up in here. Let's see, did it get it? Let's try it one more time. That looks like it's not getting it. Let me come on in here. Excellent. I want this blue color. Beautiful. All right. What else? Um, I'm going to work a little bit with um, with what with what's happening in here. And I could come in. I could totally center it as well. But I want to work a little bit with the padding. Um, so what I'm going to do with the padding? I'll come down from the top. And I'm going to come over from the left. Now, actually, I'm not going to come over from the left because I'm going to center it. I'm going to work more with the top. So I'm going to come down 20 from the top. All right, beautiful. Now, I can also, um, you know, change because what happens when you add the padding, the whole size grows. So this is now 65 pixels. It's 45 um, plus the 20. So I'm going to put this to 40. So you can play around with it and get it to where you want it to be. Now, I can also come in here. I'm going to hit OK, and I can center it. And I can center it um, by just coming on right in here, and it, now it's centered. Excellent. So what I've done now is I have successfully created uh, my first the next page. Um, I can save it. I'll come File, Save All, and I'm going to preview it one more time. File, Preview in Browser, Preview Safari. Dun, 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 dun. And here it is. There we have it. Now again, I might look at this and think, hmm, I want to put a little bit more space between this and this. I want to get rid of some of the space that's between these two. So these are all the different things that we can work with. Also, I might want to bring this down a little bit further. Um, as I look to, I feel like I want to lower the opacity of this image right in here or even change the background color. Hmm. Let me do that. Let me take a quick look because I think that might be something that will make um, maybe the top will read a little bit better. All right, so, and that's another thing I want to come to. Let's take a look at the background color because when I come on to my CSS, oopsie, and I just closed my CSS, let me come file, open recent. Um, I don't have that background color because I did that, I added that through the page properties. So actually that line of CSS is going to be found in the head of the index page. So I actually want to copy this whenever you always want to double check and see if any of the CSS ended up with that page. I want to put it on the river.css. So I'm going to come edit, I'm going to hit cut and I'm going to come to River CSS and I can come up to the top and I want to add that and I'm going to hit File Save All and it should all work out just fine and come on in. Now what I want to do is I'm going to work with um, changing that color and actually I could even click on in here and I could select my targeted rule and hit Edit Rule 
and I can come on in, I could change this background color. So maybe I want to um, I want to make it more of a gray I'm thinking so let me hit okay apply okay all right let's view it file preview and browser actually what's really great is um, I have this right here already open I can just refresh it and the color should change let me hit file save all in Dreamweaver file save all. I thought that it would change. Let's see if not I would, um, oh there we go, beautiful, it changes. All right, excellent. The one thing that I might want to do because I feel like this gets lost is open up my background inside of um, WordPress, I'm sorry, inside of Photoshop and lower the opacity. So let me do that really quick. I'm going to come on into Photoshop. I'm going to grab this image right here and I am going to lower the opacity. So I'm going to come on in here. I'm going to lower it. Let's go right till about there. I think that should be good. Let's go in the 60s. I'm going to say File, Export, Save for Web. And I want this to be a PNG because I want it to be transparent. I'm going to hit Save. And what I want to do is I want to save it directly into the folder for my website and replace it. So I have created a folder um, and this is my folder right here and it's named Bike Banner. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to replace it and I'm going to come back to my site. Let me hit save all before I do that. Come on into Dreamweaver, file, save all to update the info. Come on in, let's try one more time. All right, doesn't look much different. Um, I could up it a little bit more. Let me look at it in here. And actually, it looks a little bit different in here to me. Let me look at it live in here. So, and it, it, it works in here. Um, I'm gonna go out one more time and I'll export it this time, so I'll go Preview in browser, preview it in Safari. Okay. And I think it changed a little bit. So again, I can come back in. Actually, it doesn't look, it's interesting, it doesn't look that much different. It's interesting to think too that um, you know, it often looks different in um it can look different in uh Google versus Safari. So we can come in, I could go back into Photoshop. And lower the opacity even more. Let's go down to 50, 45. Let's go to 45. Save for web. PNG 24. Save. And bike banner. Save. Replace. And we can come on in here. File. Save all. We want this one to reload, file, export, preview in browser, preview in Google Chrome. All right, so there we have it. There we have it. All right, we can see that I like the opacity lowered a little bit because it stands out a little bit more. So thanks so much. My next video, I'm going to take a look at how do we go about creating our second page.